Here we go. Um. Uh. Welcome to a casual tutorial on how to make a custom deck easy in Tabletop Simulator. So let's get started. So you want to make a custom deck. I like to make custom decks for things that I want to play. Uh, a custom deck box. But, like, how do you do that? So let's take a look. So what you do is you go to the workshop and you download a custom deck box. If you go to workshop and then you go to browse. You can type in, uh, you know, custom deck box and into the workshop and then download any of them that you think looks cool. I like this one because it's got a bunch of different decks in it. So you can see what they look like, but they're all the same deck. They just have different images. So let's take a look at what that actually means. So let's load that one up. Uh, this one here, load. Okay, so I want, this is pretty cool. So if I look at this deck box, it has zero cards in it, but it's a bag. So instead of having just a bag for your deck, you can have a deck box and I like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab Lemon Grab. First, I'm gonna change it to unlock so that I can actually move it. Then I'm gonna hit, hit uh, copy and I'm gonna paste. And that's just so I can mess around with this and I don't mess with the rest of them. You know, like I'm very casual, so I don't know if I'm going to F something up anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to custom. And what we see here is a model mesh from Pastebin and a diffuse image. OK, so what we need is these two things for our own game. So let's uh, if you just click once left click on the model mesh, it is highlighted. You can tell it's highlighted because it kind of has that golden green look as opposed to the dark black look. So now I can just hit control C to copy that. And then when I go into um, the internet and paste that, it brings up this crazy paste bin. So this paste bin actually has the data for that deck, basically that image uh, or not the image, the, uh, the model of the deck. So if I were to take this paste bin and go into a new game, I could paste that into the game and um, it would show up. It would show up shiny though. So, but anyway, that's, if you wanna just save that so you have it, that's good. But let's take a look at the other thing. The main thing that we wanna know is the image. So we'll copy the image doing the same thing. Left click once on the image URL and then um, go back to the internet, paste it. And this is what it uses. So here's the front of the deck. Here's the back of the deck. One of these is the top. One of these is the right. One of these is the left. Cool. Unfortunately, in this image, they don't tell you which one's top, which one's left, which one's right, whatever. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You can play around with it, you know, if you want. But this is the image we're going to want. So right click on it, hit save image as, make sure it's a PNG or a JPEG or something like that. And then um, I would just save it into a new folder if you're making stuff. So, uh, go to, go to your desktop. Um, I'm going to save it in the no folder cause we had done another tutorial before, and we're going to save this as, um, deck image template. Okay. So we've got our template. So now that we got the template, you want to have something you want to make your deck with. So I want to make a deck for this particular product called the Story Engine. They, they sell PDF versions of their decks. And I'm gonna go to their expansions and pick one. So here's the, the Horror World Building expansion. This is what I'm gonna work on, uh, on this particular one. I already have some saved images, so we'll work on it that way. So let me grab, there it is. Let's close the program, let's get out of it. Now open, now we've saved our image. So let's open up your favorite photo editing tool. For me, it's Photoshop. For you, it can be Blender, or I'm sorry, uh, GIMP. But anyway, so now we're gonna open up our saved image from the desktop. Uh, in the No folder, there's our image. Okay, so now we can mess around with this. And when we save this image, we can rename it, and then we can load that image instead of the image that they have and it changes, changes the deck. That's it, you're done.
I'm gonna go through the whole thing, but and show you like little tricks on how I do whatever. But that's the concept. So if if that's good enough for you, see you later, bro. Okay, so <laughs> let's continue. So I'm gonna open up an image of the deck that I want. So I happen to have it saved in projects, story engine deck, assets, art. Yeah, um, we'll go to the horror one. There it is, open. So now we have two different images. We have this image and this image. So I want to make this image appear on the deck. I'm building a deck box now. Now these cards are square, so it's messed up with the dimensions, but I don't care. I'm just trying to make a, a pretty box for my fun game. So we're gonna, I'm gonna unlock the layer so I can copy and paste it and stuff like that. I'm gonna select it all, and then I'm gonna paste it into uh, this here, paste. Oh, uh, before we paste, you can just paste and move stuff around if you want. You know what? Let's just do that. Um, open the background. Bada bing, bada boom. Paste. Oh, didn't work. Okay, let's go back here. Select all. Edit. Copy. Boom. Bop. Pow. There it is. Okay, so as you can see, it's way too big for the image layer that we have. Um, this layer. So this layer has to be the exact dimensions. So even if your image is bigger, we just transform that baby. So let's go to file, uh, or let's select the layer that we want, which is this one. Go to edit, free transform. Now I'm gonna hold shift, and then I'm gonna click and drag down, and that will move the image, or shrink the image, um, so that it maintains its dimensions, but that's gonna be altered real quick because as you can see, once I get it down to like the deck size that I want, it's, um, you know, not exactly, it's skewed. It's whatever, that'll work. So we'll do that. Now, to make things easier on yourself, to make things easier on myself, what I like to do is I like to add guidelines so that it can snap to. Uh, first, okay, in Photoshop in particular, um, when you mess with an image by transforming it, it's not done yet until you uh, accept it or commit the transform. So I'm gonna commit the transform. Okay, it's transformed. Okay, so for me, um, I like snapping to, like when you snap to the edges and stuff like that, but you can add your own snap tos. Uh, if you hit Control R, that will bring a ruler up. And if you go to view, you can go to show and you can show the grid. I think the grid is not helpful in this particular scenario. So I'm gonna unshow the grid by going back to show and clicking grid. But I'm gonna create my own guideline. So if you go over to the ruler, either from the top or the bottom and you drag from the ruler, you create your own custom guidelines. So I'm gonna start by making guidelines of every up and down Thane, okay, so uh, boom, there's one. Actually, I'm gonna zoom in for this so it's easier to see. Okay, so there's one. Uh, let's make another one, two. And all I'm doing is just going to the edges of these images so that's easier for me to, to um, you know, put the images exactly where I want them. Um, we're gonna go right there. So now I can see I've already overlapped a little bit for the main deck box, which is good. I'm glad I'm glad we're doing this. It takes like 15 seconds to create it and <laughs> you'll be thanking me later. Okay, so I don't know, man. We'll go right here. And then we'll also go like right here. Boom. And then there should be one we should do it on the top. All right, so now it looks a little messy with the blue lines, but it's going to help us um, arrange our, our uh, images. Speaking of which, let's go back to image layer one and let's free transform that again because it's a little, it's bleeding into the, the top a little bit. So we're going to move it down and you can see that the edges turn kind of red. That means you're on the grid line. Boom, commit that. All right, so now we have our front of our deck. If we were to export this as a PNG, 
you'd have the corn and the pineapple trees, but the front would look cool. So now we wanna make the rest look cool. So how do we do that? Let's just take our one simple image that we like, and let's just take aspects of this and then like kind of make it look like a real deck. So I'm gonna deselect, I'm always deselecting, and then I reselect. So first thing is I wanna do like the sides, the right and the left. So let's uh, take this whole bottom part and use that for the side of the box. So I'm gonna go like this, just select a big portion of it, and I'm gonna hit Control C to copy that. So I've copied it, and now I'm gonna go back into my um, deck template, press Control V, and now we've got the whole thing again. Whoops, did something wrong. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go undo paste, go back, Deselect, and let's try again. So I'm gonna select the layer, select all of it that I want, control copy, go back to this one, and control V. There we go, that's more what I'm looking for. So now we wanna make this go on the right side of the box and the left side of the box. So I'm gonna just, I have the layer selected that I want, and I'm gonna edit, and I'm gonna transform it, I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Boom, bop, pow. Now I'm gonna to go to free transform, edit, free transform. I'm gonna move it over so that it's in line with the, the corner here. And I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna get it to line up with the bottom. There we go. And then I'm gonna stretch it out. Boom. Okay, so we've got our side, one side of our box. Now I just wanna duplicate. Oh, we gotta commit that. Make sure you commit that. All right, I wanna duplicate that same thing on the other side. So we're gonna just right click on the layer and it doesn't do anything. Okay, click on the layer. Where's the, the duplicate layer button? There it is, it's just right in front of me, duplicate layer. So I'm gonna duplicate the layer, hit okay. So now we've got a copy of layer two. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click the copy and I'm going to edit, transform and rotate that 180 degrees. Boom, now it's looking the other way. So now we got a little bit of fancy action here. Then I'm just going to grab it and drag it over to the other side. So now we've got our front, we got our left, we got our right. Now we got a top and a bottom and the back. So let's make the top. So we're gonna go back to our fun image here. This is the image of the thing that we want. And we're gonna deselect everything that's already selected. And we're gonna make deck of the worlds this little center piece here, part of the box, part of the top. So everybody knows from the top what they're doing. Deck of the worlds, I'm gonna make it kind of like big enough. Um, that's a little off center. Let's deselect that and try again. Deck of the worlds, okay. Good enough. Control copy, go back to our template. Control paste, did something wrong again. So edit, undo paste, go back here, deselect all, select the layer, and then we're gonna reselect our selection. Boom, bop, pow. Control copy. Control paste, there's our selection. So now we're going to edit, free transform. This is looking repetitive, isn't it? And we're gonna try to get into one of these two things here. So I'm gonna choose this one here. Go up to the corner kind of. Uh, I better go to the right, yeah. And shift, make it smaller. We'll get it right on the red there. Make sure it's on the red on the bottom here. And we're gonna make it to the right of the top. Oh, I didn't do a top one, that's why it's not showing up. Okay, we'll just do that. And let's commit that. Boom. Okay, so now we got a top of the box. Now we need a bottom of the box. Let's go back to our image. What can we use for the bottom of the box? Um, let's just use this cool skull. Deselect. And we're gonna go with the skull guy here. Wow, so cool. <laughs> and then paste that in. 
Free transform Nashi. Move it up. Boom ba pow. Put it right there. Drag it out. So it's, you know, it's not perfect in the sense that this isn't a professional box. You could spend more time doing it. I just like to add, I just like to throw it in there. Okay. All right. So now we need a back. So what are we going to use for our back? I like to use some information on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by giving us um, this whole top banner that says story engine. Control copy. It keeps with the theme. And then control paste. Free transform. And we're just gonna shrink it down a little bit. And, well, I'm gonna have to shrink it down a lot. Oh, look it. I had two things selected, so now I got the cool skull and that thing. I don't want that. So let's go to edit, undo, edit. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, we're done, so cancel that. Let's just delete layer five, I think is the layer. Delete that. Go back to our original image. We had both of these things selected. Deselect. That's why I'm always deselecting, guys. Okay. There's probably a hotkey for that. Control copy, go back, control paste. We've got just that top banner. Um, edit, free transform. And then shift, bring it down. There we go. So now we've got kind of like a banner thing going on. And now I'm gonna put some information in there. Where am I gonna get the information? Well, there's that website of the thing that I like. So I'm gonna go to my snipping tool, make a new snip, just snip this information. So now we got that information. We're going to save it in the no-no photo. Desktop, no. Save it as a deck back, you know, whatever. Whatever you want. So we'll close that, minimize that. Now we're gonna open up a new image and it's going to be from the no-no folder. And, oh, did I save it? I guess I didn't save it. Or did I save it just to desktop? Let's see. Deck back, there it is, okay. So we got this. So let's select the whole thing, all. Let's copy it. Uh, I guess copy merged, you know, I don't know what that means, but we're doing it. And then we're going to paste it. Boom. So we got the some stuff. Then what are we going to do? Free transform. Bring it to the lower left and then shift it down. Shift and move. And I mean, that looks that looks pretty good just right there. Um, just to make it blend in a little better, um, I'm going to add like, so I'm going to click on that layer. I'm going to right click on it, go to blending options. I'm going to click a little bevel emboss so it's got a little something going on. I'm going to put a little texture in there. The texture looks like crap, so we're going to actually click on the word texture. And then we can um, remove some of that depth so it's not so crazy. But I didn't want it to just look like a white thing. Okay, so we're good there. Um, let's add a little drop shadow, shall we? Blending options, um, inner shadow. So now that makes it look like the banner, the story engine banner is kind of like shadowing on it. I'm cool with that. All right, and so now we've got our new image. So let's file, save as. What I like to do is I like to save it as a PSD or like the thing that you're editing with so that you can go back and change it if you have multiple decks you want to do. So save it first as the editable file with all the little images and then save it again, but this time save it as a PNG because that's what we're going to load into uh, um, tabletop. Okay, close that. All right, and then open up tabletop simulator and let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got to press play. All right, 
So we're gonna create a new one, single player. And just for the sake of showing, I'm gonna open up that same custom deck box mod or whatever from the workshop. We're gonna grab Lemon Grab again. I'm gonna turn off the lock, copy them, paste them. So now we got our fresh Lemon Grab box. So we're gonna right click, go to custom, change the image. Change the image to what we just made. The desktop, the no folder, and there's our deck image template that we made. Uh, PNG open. I'm gonna, uh, if you want, look more into this, but basically if you wanna make a game that other people can share with you or your friends, you hit cloud and it saves it to the cloud. I just hit local because I'm too afraid to commit to the cloud yet because I haven't finished anything yet. So I'm gonna hit local and then you hit import. And bada boom, I'm just gonna hit cancel on this because it's asking me, there's one matching custom object, which is lemon grab. Do I wanna update that to match this? No, I don't. And look it. I made a, I made a box, dude. There's the cool skull. We got some information, like if people wanna, if people like this, they can go and add to cart. You know what I mean? Like it turned out pretty good. But anyway, that's that's how I do it. Finito, you've just watched it. This, this has probably been the most succinct tutorial I've ever made. And uh, yeah, catch you on the flippy.